Here are the top 10 ways I see photographers missing out on larger portrait orders and more revenue in their photography business. Hey friend, my name is Sarah Petty. I am founder and photographer at one of the most profitable portrait photography businesses in the United States. And it's my passion to help photographers just like you create a business where they can make a good profit and put their family first. You shouldn't have to choose. That's my mission. Number one, be less beige. Anyone else? Beige, not a fan. Sorry if I hurt your feelings. Look, you go into a show house by a contractor and every wall is beige. When you're a digital file photographer and you're meeting someone at the park and you're photographing 150, 350, 750 images and you're running home and you're staying up all night editing and retouching and spending hours and hours and hours prepping these images and then giving them to the client or loading them to an online gallery. You're one of many, you're just another beige. I don't want you to be beige. I want you to be a bright, shiny color that doesn't look like everyone else. So no more beige, say it. No more beige. Come on, you can say it with me. No beige. The bright color is more like being boutique where you serve your clients at a higher level. You spend more time with them. You hold their hand through the entire process so that they can get big, beautiful artwork on their walls. That is very colorful. Number two, stop skipping steps in the client experience. We hold our clients' hands from the very first phone call until their artwork is picked up, beautifully framed, wrapped, protected, so they can go home and they can hang it on their walls. With Boutique, that experience doesn't end at the end of the session. That's when the serving really starts, when you're holding your client's hand. And that's what adds more value and makes you worth more all of the other beige photographers. In my system, I really have five key steps. The first phone call, I have seven things that have to happen there. I've systematized everything. The in-person consultation, I have seven major things that happen there. Then the session itself, I'm photographing for what the client wants to invest in. Step four is the in-person presentation. It takes less than an hour where I sit and I hold their hand and I help them. And then the last appointment is when they pick up. We talk about framing. I ask for referrals. We might have other products that they might want for the future, like a holiday card or a grad announcement if it was a senior session or whatever that might be. So all of those steps are serving the client and they all need to happen. What I've learned, I've been in business almost 25 years, is that when I skip one of those parts of any of those five steps, something goes wrong. And that's when the client says, can I go home and think about it? Or I need to go home and measure. I've got to talk to my husband. They should be able to make their decision without all of those. Those are a smoke screen. So if you're hearing those, don't tell yourself they need to actually do those things. They're saying, I'm overwhelmed. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. I just need to get out of here. Okay. I had it happen to me. You probably have had it happen to you. It doesn't need to happen if you serve them in the right way. That's the good news. Number three, show your clients where to invest their time. When you're a digital file photographer, they show up at the park for the session and that's their only investment of time. You're the one doing all the work, the pre-work, staying up, editing hours, 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 and they're just hanging out for a little bit and they don't have any more investment of time. When you're boutique, they're talking to you on the first phone call for probably 20, 30 minutes. They're coming to the in-person consultation, 30, 45 minutes. The session, however long you need to get the images, I'm fast 30 to 40 minutes at the most usually. The in-person presentation is an hour. The pickup appointment might be 30 minutes to an hour. When you add all of that up, five to eight hours. But not only is it your time, it's the client's time. So they are heavily invested in the process. And the more time, you might wanna write this down, the more time your client invests, the more money they're going to invest because they're so excited about it. They're a part of the process. And I want you to love that and know that and see that. So get them investing their time, not just your time. And if you look at both systems, because you're overshooting with the digital file model, so many images and you're editing and retouching, you are likely spending more time than what we spend with our clients in the boutique model, but our orders are 10 times what the, what the digital file orders are, sometimes even more. And you can do this, you seriously can. Number four, go over the top. We don't have to nickel and dime and be cheap. When clients order gifts, 
We can do packaging for every single gift. We can be generous. We can fix a broken frame. We can reprint something that they lost at no charge if we want to. But that's because our margins are so great. We can take great care of people. So make your service over the top and it'll come back to you. They will be so appreciative. Number five, offer the right products. We want our clients having the right products in their hands. Big wall portraits, books, albums. I've spent years working out the exact product mix that clients buy. That's what I spoon feed to my students. Instead of trying to make a Cheesecake Factory menu, have you been to Cheesecake Factory lately? It's insane. It takes 45 minutes just to read all the things. No, simple, simple, simple. The right products make it simple. Number six, understand how to profitably price. Don't freak out. I know pricing is so scary, but the thing is with boutique, we are figuring out pricing and we're creating value for it. We're not just competing with the cheap photographers in the market. Cause here's the reality and think about this. Most businesses compete with cheap because someone else is doing it cheaper. As photographers, we compete with free because everybody has a digital camera. You're never going to be the cheapest. So get out of the price race to the bottom. Stop being beige, find this boutique space in your marketplace, offer the right products and we'll work together to create the value if you want so that you can charge whatever you need to, but you've gotta be profitably priced or you're just another commodity photographer in the price race to the bottom. You don't wanna be there. Number seven, think one-to-one -one versus one-to-many. I like to say fewer, better. Really with boutique, that's what we talk about all the time. Fewer, better, so investing fewer marketing dollars to get better clients. Having fewer, better products Having fewer, better clients who are investing way more than just trying to get more, 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 more. More isn't always better. So think fewer, better. Number eight, realize you're not for everyone. You're just not. We can't please all the people. And here's the thing, I know you're heart centered. I know you are a person who's thinking, but I want everybody to have this, I get it. But remember, everybody has a phone in their pocket. When I was a child, I don't exist in photos and it breaks my heart. But this is the most photographed generation. Every single kid is photographed every single day. They have photos, they're fine. This is about you building a career that can take care of your family. They're not going without food or supplies or a roof over their head. Photography, well, we think it's a necessity. It's not a necessity. And so if we wanna serve at the higher level, everyone's not gonna be our client and be okay saying no. Right, you call a fancy steakhouse and you ask if they have a happy meal for five bucks or less, and it, does it have fries and a little burger and a little toy, and they're gonna say, no, that's not what we do, and they'll explain it. They don't go, oh, somebody called and asked for that, I need to do it. No, they don't go and run and put together a happy meal. They're very clear, this is what we do, this is what we don't do. Be okay saying, no, we don't do that, but I can still love you, we can still be friends. That's okay. Number nine, create a sales process and system. I know, does that just make your skin crawl to hear sales process? Yucky, icky, I don't wanna be pushy, I don't wanna be salesy. Look, I didn't either, I loathed sales. But I want you to think about selling differently. It's about serving. You've got to serve better. And like I said earlier, if you hold your client's hands the entire way, the entire time, they're going to love you. You're gonna take all the pressure and stress of this whole process off them and they're gonna be giddy, they're gonna love it, they're gonna be so happy at the end that you put so much time into it. But you've gotta have that process, so take the time to do that. Look, if you wanna know my process, hop down into the resources, I'm gonna put a resource there for you. Because it's one of the most important things about creating value for your photography. It's not that you're not a good enough photographer. I thought that for years. And then I happened upon a client who gave me $1,000 and gushed on me, 1,800 actually. Her name was Julie. We celebrate the Julie Awards at my annual event called Go Boutique Live, where we give our students a lanyard that says Julie when they get their first $1,000 order. It's that big of a deal to see that, oh my gosh, I can get a $1,000 order. This is amazing. I'm so stoked. Because you know if you can do it once, you can do it again and again and again and again. You can do it over and over again, but you gotta have a system. So create one, come learn with us, find a mentor, get a system. Number 10, stop putting limits on yourself, okay? When you're selling your time for money, 
selling a CD or a set of digital files for $200, do the math. How many hours do you have? Once all your time is sold, you've got no more money. You can't make any more money versus I can do a 30 minute session on a Wednesday morning and make five, 10, $15,000 not a wedding, a portrait session because of the 25 years I've learned and I've made it a system. And this is what I teach my students. They do it over and over again. Come join our Facebook group. Literally, you can see photographers succeeding with this model if you want proof. Be a part of the wave. You can do it too. I love the saying, a rising tide lifts all ships. Put yourself in a room with people who are rising the tide, not pulling the plug and pulling you down, okay? The limiting beliefs are killing you. You can do this with a good system and a good structure and a team behind you, you can literally do this. We're not here just to decorate our clients' social media profiles. That's not why I'm in business. They can do that with their own phone, all right? We're here to create beautiful artwork for their walls so we can pay for our expenses and pour into our families. If you found this information helpful at all, please like this video and leave me a comment. I wanna hear from you.